Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to do an updated review on this uh, Core Valley Linear Comp. This is the uh, XL Slim. Um, I've uh, done a video before where I was shooting it with this gun over here. It was working great. Uh, now this gun has a very high round count on it. It's probably approaching about 10,000 rounds. Um, so I wanted to shoot it in this gun here today. And uh, I, I was having a little bit of difficulty. Now, uh, in order to get this to work at all, right, what I do is uh, um, I use a, uh, instead of using the standard 16-pound recoil spring for the Glock 17, I use the 11-pound uh, recoil spring. So I got this recoil spring kit from NDZ Performance, right? I put in the 11 pounds. Now, I also tried getting a, um, a fixed one. The fixed one apparently was a little bit stronger, so it wasn't working quite as well. So this one from NDZ seems to be working a little bit better. So, um, so here's the thing with the with the when you put the linear comp on your on your barrel, right, on your threaded barrel, this adds weight to the front, and this is a tilt barrel design, right? So as the gun fires, barrel moves up and down. So if you got extra weight on here. Uh, it can interfere with that and make the gun not work. So when you have a, you know, when, when they make, when they put suppressors um, on pistols, usually there's either an internal or external booster to, to build up the pressure a little bit and make it work reliably. I didn't want to, I didn't want to pay $100 to get a booster on this. I, and I, it, it couldn't be internal, it would have to be external. So I would have to have another piece between my barrel and this linear comp, which just seemed silly. It looks cool like this, so I wanted it to stay with this look. So the way I got there is with the 11 pound recoil spring. Now, like I said, this gun over here has a, a very high round count on it, approaching 10,000 rounds. So it's very well broken in. Um, this one, I don't, I, it doesn't even have 2,000 rounds yet. Uh, so I was shooting it with uh, 115 grain bullets. And what I saw is that I was getting uh, significant, um, you know, I was, still, I was getting occasional jams. Um, so what I did is I pulled out a box of 124 grain bullets, right? So these are the Winchester Ranger uh, 124 grain bullets. So because it's a heavier bullet, it's a little bit slower coming out of the barrel. So that means it stays in the barrel longer, which builds up pressure. And I'm finding that this is working really good. Okay, now do not expect 100% success rate with, with this gimmick, okay? This is basically a novelty. Uh, this is not something that we use for serious work, okay? Uh, this is a novelty uh, that you just, you know, normally this this is the barrel I usually have on the gun, right? I just put this on there just to have a little fun with this today. Uh, but you wouldn't use this this gimmick here for any type of serious work. The other thing is uh, when you get your barrels, get stainless steel ones, right? Uh, because the, the stainless steel has less friction. Uh, this black paint over here, the sarcoded crap that they put on the barrels uh, that, that comes off anyway, that just adds extra friction, okay? They don't they don't put that coating on there the same way uh, Glock does, right? Okay? So it's a different process. They basically just paint it on, so that just adds extra friction. Avoid that problem altogether. Get stainless steel barrels that don't have any paint on it, okay? So uh, let's fire a couple of rounds with this guy over here. And it went all the way to lockout. All right, so this gun was not working before with 115 grain bullets, okay? Now, getting lockout is a good indication uh, that that the gun is uh, that has it has good pressure. I'm going to try one more test now. Hold on. I'm going to take out five bullets, and I'm going to try shooting it one-handed, okay? And I don't know what the results are going to be. But usually, uh, that's one of the tests I do with guns, is I shoot them one-handed to make sure that they don't jam up when you shoot it one-handed, and that's how you know how reliable your gun is. All right, let's, let's, let's try this one-handed, see what this does. What the lockout. So this is fairly reliable. Again, still not something I would... You know, I, I would trust my life to. Um, you know, this is this is a gimmick. You know, this is this is just for, for fun, right? This is just take a couple of pictures, with, take a couple of pictures with. You know, uh, it doesn't do anything to really reduce the sound. Um, 
it, it's it sounds pretty much just as just as loud. Oh, by the way, on my Glock 26s, I I also shoot the same 124 124 grain bullets. That's one of the things I I figured out when I was uh, when I was building the Glock 26s is because they're shorter barrel, the heavier bullet uh, makes them a lot more reliable because the bullet is, is moving out of the barrel slower. It stays in there just a few, you know, a split second longer to allow more pressure to build up uh, to cycle the gun. Okay, um, so there's there's the secret uh, to getting these linear comps to work. Um, so you know, basically, if I, you know, get yourself a stainless steel barrel, which I don't have there. Get uh, a lighter recoil spring. You know, in this case, instead of 16 pounds, I got 11 pounds in there, and get a heavier bullet, which will sit in the, you know, will stay in the barrel a little bit longer allowing more pressure to build up. So that's the uh, Core Valley XL Slim. It weighs three ounces, okay? It's, you know, uh, uh, that's one of the things you wanna keep in mind if you're buying it from different companies because if you get a heavier one, you know, now you're gonna have, now you need either a lighter recoil spring or you need a, uh, a, a even heavier bullet, okay? Um, so that's one of the things to keep in mind. Now on the, um, on this one over here, right? Same thing, all right? The, Core Valley XL Slim, uh, uh, XL Slim. Uh, this is a fixed barrel, right? So it makes no difference on this. This gun is 100% reliable um, with this on here. The reason why that's on there is I put this on there as a safety feature uh, because of the shorter barrel here. What I noticed a lot of times when I was training beginners, um, you know, they, their hands sometimes would start moving a, a little bit past the rail. And that made me very nervous. Okay, so that's why I put the I put this on here. That's initially why I bought this. I said, oh, yeah, you know, I, I didn't feel comfortable with that with this at the time. I said, let me put something on there. Let me extend the barrel so I make sure nobody shoots any of their fingers off. Uh, you know, if I was the only person shooting this, I would probably take this off and just occasionally put this on. Although it is a bit of a pain in the ass to get this on and off there. With the, with that one, it comes on and off really easy. With this one, uh, you pretty much have to take the rail off. Put this barrel, you know, wrap the barrel in a towel, clamp it, you know, and then get this on there. It takes a little bit more effort to get this on there. Uh, so that's why this one just, just stays on there, okay? So this one I'm just shooting with 115 grain uh, tulip, okay? Really easy, cheap stuff. Okay. Okay. So there it is, guys. That's the Core Valley XL Slim. Uh, yeah, these things aren't expensive. I think they're like $40. They're about $40. They're, they're, they're pretty cheap. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun little, you know, it's a fun little accessory to have. Um, put on the gun and, uh, you know, play around with it. Then, especially with the pistol, take it off. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I would not use this for any serious work. You know, this is purely a gimmick. I wouldn't be carrying this gun. I wouldn't be using this for any self-defense purposes. Uh, with this on there because this interferes a little bit with the uh, you know with, with the natural movement of the barrel now we can overcome that a little bit with the lighter recoil spring uh, and with the heavier bullet but you know I still don't consider it 100 percent reliable but fun fun to play with um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you're not a member of the channel subscribe uh, hit that bell button so you get notification new videos I put up I'll talk to you all soon